Okay, let's continue on. Okay, all right. So you go back to the text and choose which one. Okay, it's closest. I think it's C. Okay, you find C, right? Okay, let's review oh. the answer. Okay, hang on. Okay, let me review the answer. Answer is A. Okay, let's see oh. why the answer is not C. It looks so similar, right? When faced with oh, yes. our body produces either high levels of, of energy or pain blocking chemicals. It says either. Either means qi zhong yi zhong. Oh, from either high levels of energy or pain blocking chemicals. Let's and then of course definitely in in the text it does mention we cannot control our body when we are in danger, right? Because our body will automatically respond by itself. So let's look at here. Okay, we get about the energy. Ah, we get a sudden huge rush of energy and. At the same time, it's not either or. It means at the same time. Did you see? Did you see the word? Did you see at the same time? Mm. Is is not referring to either or. Either or is, you 可能会产生一种，再不然就是其另另外一种。But this one is, it happens a huge rush of energy. And at the same time, it's not either or. Huh? With the chemicals that can protect us from feeling pain, do you got it? Okay, so oh, of course he is definitely out. It's definitely not the answer. Now talking about A, can you tell me where in this text referring to A? We cannot control the reaction in our body when we are in danger. Okay, go back here. So, can you highlight that one? Mm, let me see. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Which one? Highlight. Can you highlight, please? Uh, yeah. Oh no. Uh, <sighs> we have the reaction we have when we put ourselves into this situation. You know, the rapid heartbeat or sweaty pumps is part is in part similar to that which we are faced with a real threat. It talks about the symptoms, but here it talks about it talks oh. about. Cannot control the reaction here. So which part is referring to cannot control? Let's look at here. Okay, it refers mm -hmm. to. So when the body detects real danger, it closes off any non-essential system. 如果我们的身体有面对到危真正的危险，它会自动关掉非必须的 system such as critical thought. And react with automatic responses, 是自动的反应，是 cannot control 的 Automatic means cannot control. 啊、uh, ，自动反应 you cannot you cannot control. 是 it automatically responded. Okay, enable us you eat you to either put up a fight or run away. 就是你的身体自动反应 ，either 你要逃走或者是对抗它，是自动的。Okay, it's、so、automatic, so you cannot control one. So the answer is here. So you got it. You got it, right? Ah, okay. You got it, ah, Kajun. Hmm. Yes. Okay. So now let's look at extract two, number six. Ah,、huh? our bodies cannot distinguish between real and false danger. 我们的身体是不能够分，不能够知道哪一个是真的 fear， 哪一个是假的 fear。Yeah, the danger. Our bodies can distinguish between false and real danger. This is the opposite. Okay, distinguish means to differentiate, to know. Okay, you can write down. Distinguish the meaning of distinguish between means 
能够区分，能够 know real or false danger, the meaning of it. Distinguish between, always come together. If you know how to use this word, right, it will be good in terms of speaking and writing also. Distinguish between. It has to go hand in hand. It is all to know what is real, what is false, danger. To differentiate, all right? And it depends on person whether the body can distinguish between real and false danger. And C say it is to know. So what's your answer? You refer back to the text, yeah? Which one will be your answer? Mm -hmm. You need me to go back to the text here? Uh. So, yeah. The answer, so your answer is, it depends on people, is it? Your time, uh. Okay, the answer, no. The answer is wrong. Okay, so let me review the answer. The answer is B. 我们的身体可以分区分什么是真的danger,什么是假的danger. So where, the, where do we find the answer? The answer is found here. Okay, hang on. The answer, we know deep down that the situation does not really pose a true threat. And so this energy and lack of pain without any real danger allow us to experience a sense of euphoria. 因为它是告诉你,这个是我们真正的知道 哪一些是真的，哪一些假的？OK，这样子我们的我们的身体呢？当我们知道那个situation是不会真正的给我们带来真正的威胁的时候，这种energy是没有pain的，然后会让我们感受到euphoria，euphoria是那种啊那种极度
the doctor gave my sister an injection and I was washing. I start I started to feel pain things pain and I pass passes out on the floor of I passed the out. Not passes out. I passed out. I passed out on the floor of the doctor office. Doctor's office. Doctor's office. Okay. Oh no. Well, my greatest fear is clowns. There's actually an official name for it. Chorophobia. I think I don't know what it is about them exactly, but they just freak me out. They are so weird. I've always hated them since I was a kid, from birthday parties and the circus and things. They don't look at all happy to me, even with a big painted smile. They look sad and scary, even a bit sinister. Okay, your turn. Your turn, okay. Oh, what about what <laughs> about you? And are you scared of anything? No, of of course not. Your turn. Your well, turn. Uh. Well, apart from height. That's true. I cannot look out of the window past the fourth floor. And lips. 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 Okay, yeah, and lips. I hate getting inside lips. I will always take the stairs if I can. I don't know. They just make me feel uneasy. And well, I get really nervous if I ever have to speak in public. I start sweating and my mind just goes blank. It is so embarrassing. That is pretty normal, isn't it? Of course. Sure. Okay, so now you have a group of people that are talking about their fears and phobias. Okay, now let's take a look on the questions here. Extract three. Liz suffers physical symptoms because of a fear. Liz always loses consciousness when she sees a needle. Liz first remembers her fear while watching a horror film. Now, I want you to take a picture here about this one. You take a picture. Okay, later you compare. All right, you compare this moment. Okay, you take a picture. You can screenshot. Okay, are you done? Mm, yes. Yes, uh, so I flip back to the questions. And then you choose. Okay. So question number seven. So which one is mentioned? Uh, B. Okay, your answer is B. Liz always loses consciousness when she sees a needle. So let's check out the answer. Okay, hang on. Okay, it's A. Why not B? Okay. Okay. Let's check out why A, why not B. Liz suffer physical symptoms because of her fear. Liz always, always loses consciousness when she sees a needle. Okay, let's check it out. Go back to here. Of course, C is definitely out. So A and B, between A and B. Okay. You look at this one here. You look at you read the question, you read the text for one more time silently.
Okay, then you go back here. You have that text with you, right? You have that text with you, right, Karana? Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So why is A, why is not B? It says lose, always loses consciousness when she sees a needle. Suffers physical symptoms because of her fear. Okay, very tricky questions. Are very, very tricky. Yeah? Okay, and then... So, which one? Here, let me explain to you. She says she, she is absolutely hate needles and injection. It's not just needles, but also injections. And she passes out when the doctor gave her sister an injection. It's not, it's not just about the needle. But the moment that the doctor started inject, right? Okay, then she started passes out. Okay, here, uh, here it says that, and there's a scene with someone injecting themselves. I can't watch. Injecting, injecting is injecting. It's not just about the needle. Do you understand what I mean? Needle is injecting. And injection is injecting. It's called injection. So the question is very, very tricky. Uh -huh. Did you see here? Uh, where is it? She loses consciousness when she sees a needle. No. She loses consciousness when she sees the doctor gave the injection. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. And here, A, she suffers physical symptoms because of her fear. Physical symptoms like giddiness, she feel uh, all kinds of uh, this one. She has uh queasiness, she has faint, she has dizziness, she feel faint, she feel faint, she has these kind of physical symptoms. These are called physical symptoms. Queasy means hen xiang tu, yun, giddy, what is dizzy, what is nauseous, now to you yun, you just on physical symptoms, iwi ta ten pa ma, iwi ta yu kong ji, but naka kong ji is not specified. 他没有讲是什么恐惧，但是就是有他有这个fear，他fear，他很害怕打针。Do you understand? So A is the closest answer. You so you got it? Yes, yes, yes. You got it, ah? Huh? Okay, all right. So I'm gonna cover back here. Cover back here. Just a moment. Uh. So you really understand, right? You understand, ah? Huh? Why it is so? Okay. All right, so let's move on to the last part. Extract three, Abby had been diagnosed with chorophobia by her doctor. Abby with prefers clowns that smile. Abby feels that just as scared now as she did as a child. Okay, diagnosed the issue is based on Duan Tayo, chorophobia. Chorophobia means fear of clowns, high pa xiao chou by her doctor. Abi Ling Si Huan clowns Wei Xiao. Abi feels just as scared now as she did as a child. Abi Xin Zai the Hap So Pa the Gun Ta Xiao So Yang. So okay now you have this one with you right so you try to find the answer. You have the text with you, right? So I'll just flip back here so that you can see. C. The answer is C. Okay, let's let's check it out. You got it. Okay, it's C. Answer is C. Okay. Why? Why the answer is not A? Can you tell me why the answer is C? Okay, highlight it. Mm. 
Can you highlight the answer? Why do you think it's C? Um, I see. Yeah. yeah. Well, that is not the answer. <laughs> 这边是讲他害怕甚至觉得很疑问。为什么他现在的帕跟小色一模一样? It's found in the green color. Did you see the green color highlight? Oh. I've always oh, hated oh, them oh. since I was a child. 你们看到? Ah, oh, yeah. 就是小时候他怕, 现在也是一样怕, 怕这个小丑. 但是, it doesn't say that, it doesn't say that Dr. Dinos him has to have chorophobia. 这边没有讲 Dr. 给他诊断没有, 他只是说, 这种惧怕小丑的名称 official name 叫着chorophobia So A is definitely out So now do you know why we get this answer, right? He feels mm -hmm. just as scared now as she did as a child Okay, alright Now let's go back to this Go to the abstract tree Ben has fewer fears now than he used to Ben avoids situations that cause his fears Ben is having therapy to overcome his fear. 第一个是讲他现在的怕是比较少的。第二个, Ben是尝试要avoid, 他要避开这种situation,使到他害怕的situation. See, Ben现在有接受一些治疗来overcome他的fear. So, we, we look at that questions. Okay, you try to find the answer. B. The answer, boy, apple, or cat? Which one? Boy, boy. Boy, okay. So let's refer to boy. You got it. Okay, now tell me why is B. Can you highlight? Or can you tell me why is B? Uh. Uh -huh. That is only one of it. There's only one of it. Because you choose, you choose, he avoids situations that cause his fear. Avoid is want to be high. So here, where do you find it? Mm. It's our band. Eh? Mm hmm This one, highlight. Okay, yeah. I always take the stairs if I can. 他如果他, so he avoids crowd not. Ah, this one. And also here, the green one. I can't look out the window past the fourth floor. 他尽量不要看窗外, 如果, 如果, 第四楼已经到了，然后超过第四楼，他不看窗外的，因为他尽量不看，因为他很怕。So他是是想要避开，对吗？ Correct or not? So avoid. Ah, uh, so that's the reason why we call it avoid. Okay, 明白吗？ This 这个是其中一个. This one. Okay, let me change the color. Just a moment. Ah, 这是其中一个青色的，所有青色的。你看到这个和这个，你有看到？ Mm -hmm. This one, I think I need to change color. Okay. All right. So you got it, yeah? So you got it right. Okay. Now comes to speaking. Do you have any fears or phobias? And tell us why you have that kind of fear, phobia. What causes you to have that kind of fear or phobia? Okay. All right. So now is your time because who knows in SPM, probably this kind of question will come out. Okay. You try. Did you still remember I mentioned to you the phobia that I have about lizard? Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so that one is one of the phobias that I have. Another phobia, another phobia is fear of public speaking. Okay, that I have. Uh, I remember when I was uh, in primary two, maybe I think it's in primary two, where my English teacher asked me, uh, she pinpointed me, she handpicked me 
to do a public speaking uh, in front of the students. So, and, uh, but he, she didn't tell me how much time I can have to prepare for my speech. So the, then during her class, she asked me to come up to do the public speaking. And I wasn't prepared because uh, the script that I have, I did not have enough time to familiarize with the content. So when I, when she she asked me to to stand out in front of the class or the students, and I I can only remember one or two lines. That after that, my mind went blank. I couldn't remember the remaining content. And she was scolding me like crazy. She was scolding, scolding, and scolding, and I was I stood blank blank my mind all went blank and I was so shameful and so feeling so bad about myself ever since that day I felt uh fearful of uh, standing in front to speak but somehow <laughs> uh, over time the teachers still picked me uh different teachers okay got Chinese got English they picked me to speak in front of the students during the assembly time so I try my best but every time when I speak right before that, I will go. That I will have diarrhea, all kinds of symptoms like palm sweating, and my and my stomach will have butterflies. Butterflies means my stomach will be jiaodong, be tong, and I have to go go to the toilet to you know to release. So I have diarrhea many times. I have bouts of diarrhea before I go on the stage. So that shows that I have lots of phobia. But I try to overcome it. Okay. So how about you? <laughs> So do you have any phobias or fears? Uh, I also have that one, uh, properly speaking. La. Uh -huh, okay, all right. You try to uh, say something, you know, in a paragraph, in a, so try to elaborate it because this is a speaking test. If you encounter these questions, right, they will ask you to speak about your fears or phobias. So you can try. Hmm. Not just one sentence, not just one word. Okay, remember speaking no, no one word or one sentence. Or please do not say I don't know. Okay, never, never, never. Okay, all right. You try. Are you there? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, wait. Uh, okay. I give you time to prepare. Two minutes uh, okay. to prepare. I give you two minutes to prepare. Okay. Uh, okay, are you ready? Uh, nervous, nervous. Uh, nervous. Okay, hang on. Uh, just a moment. Okay, you may start now. All right. Do you have any fears or phobias? Uh, yes, of course. Ah, uh, my fear, uh, my phobia is public speaking. Mm -hmm. I always feel very stressed and nervous when have 
properly speaking in school. Mm. If I was uh, nervous, I will I will start sweating cream and my heart heart beat feel very fast. Mm. Also my mind just got cramp. Okay. Your your what? Got what? My mic. Mm. Just got blank. Oh, your mind will went will go blank, right? Mm. Okay. Is that all? Um. You need to learn to elaborate more. You can say, uh, what causes you to have fear of public speaking? Is there any incidents that cause you to have fear of public speaking? Um, for example, like uh, anyone scold you or people laugh at you or you yourself uh, laugh at yourself or anything that causes you to have a kind of fear? Because I have uh, many people uh, looking, uh, looking to me. Looking at you. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and laughing. Uh -huh. uh. mm. So you're afraid of people looking at you. Yeah. You're afraid that they will laugh at you, right? Uh -uh. Mm. So this is only one of the fears that you have is fear of public speaking. And the question is, any fears? So do you have another fear? Mm. 